Hello family, today is October 31st, 2017. Today is Tuesday, it's Halloween, and it's chilly here in Cali. And I have come on to make some easy tortilla soup. Now to make the soup family, we already have our pre-cooked rotisserie chicken. I'm going to debone this which is already done, so that's like half of the time right there already, okay? But we're going to saute some onion and some celery together. We have our tortillas here. This is a 24-pack. We're probably going to use about half of it because I really like the taste of tortillas. We're going to put some carrots in there. They're sliced. We're going to season with black pepper, season and salt, basil leaves. Whole cloves, poultry season, and oregano, and a little bit of thyme. We're going to build up our broth with some mozzola chicken broth. So let's get started. Some yellow ones in there, anyway. Let's take these yellow ones that are spent. Let's take those out. I like the taste of the foliage, the leaves portion. So I like to saute these as well. And I also don't like uh, my celery very thick. So I'm um, ensuring that I slice them kind of thin as well. The pieces that is. Add a little oil, canola. We're going to season up our veggies with our herbs. Sometimes it's far much more easier to season. I'll use the cloves inside of the broth though. So we're just marrying, marrying, how, how do I say that word? We're marrowing the herbs and spices together in a saute. Just kind of make those herbs kind of pop a little bit and make them a little bit more... Should I say like a vibrancy or like a va 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 boom or what else can I call it? 
I don't know what other words to use, but we're marrowing the taste of the veggies, the herbs, and the spices. That's what I wanted to say. Now you want to rip this up however way you want to do it, however way to your liking and to your taste. Um, if you want big pieces, smaller pieces, however way, skin, no skin, whichever way your family choose, begin to mince up your chicken. So I have my um, slow cooker here. So as I'm mincing up the chicken, I'll just be incorporating it inside of uh, my cooker as well, and I'm gonna go with some chick with some skin and no skin. So that's how I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna have some of the skin, but not all of it. I've already had it on, so it's already uh, preheated already, um, just so that it will also cut down on the time. Now, I'm cooking this on high heat, uh, being that everything is pretty much pre-cooked already. We're just pretty much just making a broth and cooking the tortillas for the most part. So, you know, you might want to get it hot already, or... If you want to speed up the time, you can also take out your Dutch oven and cook it in that. I merely wanted to break up the monotony from cooking in my favorite, favorite Ninja oven. So instead of constantly using the Ninja, I wanted to just use something else. And I haven't used this girl in years, so it was a pleasant surprise to bring her out of storage <laughs> and allow her to be used on this day. My hands are already clean, be assured of that. My dogs are really lining up. Hi, Egypt. Hi. Hi, baby. What's going on? We're going to take some water. Now, you can mix your broth with um, the water, or you could just simply pour the broth in. So, I'm just going to pour my water in like so. And I want good broth, so I'm going to do two of the four cups. So, that equivalent to what, about eight cups? We're going to put about eight cups of water. Because you need good liquid content for your tortillas and now we're going to add you're gone baby okay we're going to add our whole cloves just a couple And we're going to add our chicken broth. Now, whether you mix this up in the water or you just put it in like so, it truly doesn't matter. I will season to taste as the 
ingredients and everything married together and cooked down. And then we'll come through with our seasoning salt and our black pepper um, and season it at that time. So we're going to allow this to cook down on high for about maybe mm, at least two hours and then we'll come in and add another step or two. Our soup has been cooking now for about an hour and it looks really good. Let's see. Let's see how things are going here. Smells good. Oh, wow. It smells and looks so good. It is now 3 o'clock. I started this around noon. So it's been going about 3 hours. What I am going to do now is I'm going to taste the broth. And then at that point, I'll season it to taste. And then we're going to add our tortillas. So, get me a little spoon here. And to taste. And very hot. Wow. We're going to add just a little bit of Lars in it. Some black pepper. Add our carrots. I've drained them. Let's get our tortillas ready. Um, we tend to like tortillas, so I'm going to take about that much for us and you can tear them apart if you want to or you could just take a knife to them like this my knives aren't the sharpest but you get the idea and just kind of cut them in long strips
again, I can't stress enough, when you're cooking for your family, um, you want to take into account of your dietary restrictions and your personal taste. Um, I cook according to my family's personal taste and diet restrictions, and that's just the way to go. I want to add a couple more. I got to. I got to add a couple more. So I have about, say, three more. And you could just simply just tear them in strips like so. Yes, that looks about right. And so what we're going to do is, for this last hour, we're going to still allow it to cook on high. And being that it's already seasoned up very well, we don't have to do anything else to it. Now, some would probably have put a can of, say, uh, uh, condensed chicken or cream of chicken soup. Um, you could have added that if you wanted that. Um, if you wanted to kick it up a notch and make it a little bit more spicier, you could have added some spice to it. Um, if you wanted to have more of a Cajun type of taste to it, you could have added um, some of those type of seasonings. Again, this is cooking and it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be delicious and it's supposed to be according to your taste. So enjoy it the way that you want to. Just let it simmer for another hour or so. Let's get the cornbread ready for the oven. Now, I have bought um, this cornbread uh, mix on Markdown for $1.19, and I've never ever um, used this cake mix, I mean, excuse me, cornbread mix before. And so we're going to try it. We are going to try it. And all it takes is water. So it doesn't take no oil, no eggs, no nothing. Now, I did put a, a cast iron skillet. Ooh, I'm making a mess. I did put a cast iron skillet in the oven already with some oil. Um, so that it will not stick. But to one package of cornbread mix takes one and a half cup of water. So let's see how this turns out.
I have to put some sugar in my cornbread. That's just the way I like buying. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. I don't think this is on properly. There it goes. Yes, I have to have a, a little cornbread. Uh, I mean, excuse me, a little sugar in my cornbread. And I just like it like that. And especially with um, butter and it's hot. Oh, my God. I know I'm not the only one. Oh, my God. Okay, it's ready. Let's get it in the oven. It's 5 to 5, and our cornbread is in the oven. And our dinner is about, I could say, 10 minutes from done. I'm going to cut it off now. It's 4.56 in the p.m. and it is done. Now, um, I put a lot of tortillas in mine. This is the consistency in which I like mine. But if you want less, then do less. You want more broth, then have more broth. You want more chicken, add more chicken. After our cornbread gets done, we'll plate it up. Okay, I'm going to cut it off now. My dogs are beginning to gather up. <laughs> I truly love center cuts. So let's see if we can get this out of here without making that big of a... Let's put it on the side. Without making that big of a fuss. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, wow. It is now 5.34 in the p.m. It is Halloween, family. Happy Halloween. And I thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have an awesome evening. Bye-bye for now.